Craig Culbertson here with TechBond. I'm here to explain to you the newest technology in molecular bonding and how it compares to the epoxies and CAs that you can purchase at your local hobby shop. Why this technology is better and how more efficient it is in bonding technology than epoxies and CA. It brings you the best of both worlds. For us to better understand how this new technology works, it's better that we make our comparisons right off the bat. So let's start with epoxies and CA. The epoxies that you use, that you can purchase at your local hobby shop, your 5, 10, 15, 30 minute epoxies, have some very good attributes to them. And they have some bad ones also. Let's go with what's good first. First, it is a covalent bonding system. Yeah, that's a new word for me too. I had to learn it for the video. Covalent bonding is the sharing of electrons between atoms on your gluing surface. What epoxy does, it seeps into the pores, as we all know, and then it sets up and it hardens. It's a thermosetting epoxide polymer, which means that once it sets up, you can't debond it. You have to break it apart or grind it out. That's your only choices that you have. One of the bad things about epoxy is that once it does set up, it's not flexible. It doesn't give any flexibility in your aircraft. Now, it has a very high shear weight, usually three to 4,000 pounds shear weight in your over-the-counter epoxies, which is very good. But again, the bad side of that is it outgasses. So if you use it to put on a canopy and you seal it up pretty well, you're going to notice some fogging in your canopy. It becomes brittle over time. It degrades over time. And it has a very low shelf life. Now let's bring CA glues into the equation. What are the benefits of CA glues? Well, first off, as we all know, it's very fast setting. And if you use an accelerant, it's even quicker. So making field repairs is really nice. Um, it works on non-porous materials where epoxies do not. There's no mixing involved using a CA. But the bad things about CA, again, is it also outgasses. So when you're putting on canopies, you get it sealed up with CA, it's going to outgas and it's going to fog your canopy. One of the accelerants of CA is moisture and humidity, which is a good thing when you're trying to glue things together and glue them in your aircraft and the moisture between them actually starts and creates the bonding process. The bad part of that is, once you open the container, it starts going bad from the moment that you open it because it gets moisture in it. So it has a very low shelf life. Now that we have a basic understanding of how epoxy works and how CA works, now let's get on to TechBond. TechBond takes the best attributes from both glues and gives it to you in one source. First off, this gluing technology is not a glue joint like epoxy is. When epoxy sets up into the pores of the two surfaces you're using, it creates a glue joint between them, basically like putting your fist together. This is a molecular bonding technology. It works a little differently. With this covalent bonding process, it actually takes on the attributes of the surface that it's bonding to, be it wood to foam, steel to plastic, whatever it may be. It works on porous and non-porous materials, it has a two-year shelf life, shelf life no matter where you keep it, in the trunk of your car, inside your house, and up to 10 years if you keep it in the refrigerator. That's pretty good shelf life for any type of glue. It doesn't degrade over time as epoxies and CA do. It doesn't outgas, so you can glue your canopies together with this stuff and it won't fog them up. It's stronger than any epoxy you can buy over the shelf today with tensile strengths higher than 4,000 pounds. And last but not least, it does one thing that none of these glues will do. It will actually adhere to and bond to Lexan and polymers. Yes, you heard me right. Lexan and polymers. Epoxies won't do it. CAs won't do it. These chemicals will do it. Let's go right into the demonstration process and let me show you what I mean by covalent bonding and how it works. I'm going to take an old Futaba servo, and not that we would ever do this, but I'm going to glue it to a piece of, well, you can call it porous, but it's hardwood. It's an uh, eighth inch thick hardwood, but it's not as porous as balsa, actually. So we're going to put a little glue on our servo. Then I'm going to go ahead and spray the hardwood. I'm going to hold it on there for three seconds. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. It's bonded. It's ready to go. I'm going to take a 2 by 4 I'm going to beat on this thing and see what it does. That's how good that technology is in three seconds. You're getting about 50% strength out of that gluing bond in the first three seconds using their accelerant. The difference is 
the accelerant does not degrade the bonding like CA does. It actually enhances it to some degree. But that's a pretty strong bond. And I'm beating holes in this 2x4 with this servo. <clears throat> now we're going to try something that I know you won't think will work, and it really does. We're going to take a carbon fiber round rod. Now imagine the gluing surface that I have to work with on a round rod. And we're going to glue it to a piece of flat steel. Now we're going to give this about 10 seconds before we use it just because we're using two very non-porous surfaces and a very small amount of gluing area. Let me put these together real quick. We're going to throw a little tech bond that way. Spray some accelerant. Come down here to this. And it's already bonded, by the way. Put a little bit on the other side. Now I'm going to let that cure just for a minute. But we're going to use this thing like a tomahawk, guys. That is a strong glue joint. That is two non-porous materials glued together, a carbon fiber rod, and a piece of steel that used to be one of my rulers that I cut up just for this video. And you can see what it's doing to the 2x4. And I'm not hitting it flat, I'm hitting it like a tomahawk. If you would have epoxied this and let it sit overnight, it wouldn't have done that. To further show my confidence in this gluing technology, I've been using these glues now for about a month. And I haven't found anything that it won't glue to, fellas. Um, but I'm a helicopter enthusiast. That's why I have it out here. I built this entire aircraft out of this bonding technology. Now, the first number one rule for you helicopter pilots, you already know this, you don't use CA on a helicopter. Why? Because it's a temporary bond process. It'll fracture. It'll come apart. If you use epoxies on it, long, long, long setting epoxies. I built, as you're seeing in the video, the entire substrate frame of this aircraft using this bonding technology. This molecular bonding technology has so many benefits without the detriments from epoxies and CAs. I'm not putting down epoxy, I'm not putting down CAs, they all have their place. The nice thing about this glue is it takes place of every commercial glue you can throw at the equation. It doesn't outgas like epoxies and CAs do. All of your bonding stays flexible. It doesn't degrade over time. It doesn't degrade when you use this accelerator. It's good from temperatures of negative 65 to 280 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a covalent bonding system, which means it takes on the characteristics of the material that it's bonding to. It's the only system out there that will bond Lexan and plastic. It gives you your 4,000 pound tensile strength and higher as epoxies are rated today. And we're talking about your over-the-shelf epoxy you buy at your local hobby shop. If you bond something that doesn't look right or it doesn't feel right or it's in the wrong place, you can debond it and rebond it again. It has a two-year shelf life anywhere you put it, 10 years if you put it in the refrigerator, and it's stronger than any epoxy or CA you can purchase over the counter at any distributor or your local hobby shop. Go to the website, www.tech-bond.net. Get a two ounce bottle and some accelerator and try it. Try it on your porcelain, try it on, it even bonds glass, guys. Try it on everything in your house, try it in your RC life and see what you think. When I got this bonding technology, I tried it for a month before I ever committed to doing this video. I gave away every epoxy and CA that I have to my guys at my club. And why? Because I don't need it. It doesn't work as well, it's not as strong, it's not flexible, it doesn't do what this bonding technology does. And when I go to the field and you look at my box, you see one bottle of Tech Bond and one bottle of Accelerant. That's all you're going to see in my flight box, guys. Look, thanks for seeing, checking out the video. Come and see us at www.tech-bond.net. I'm Fred Culbertson. Thanks for watching.